So today we're working on, on the Forester again. We are going to be installing the VEMS, uh, the VEMS tuning, uh, cylinder four cooling head mod. And a big thank you to uh, Josh over at Import Image Racing. There's a spoolie boy. Uh, for getting this out to me, uh, two day shipping, so I had it in no time at all. Here we have the VEMS tuning kit, uh, cylinder four cooling head mod. Hashtag save the ringlands. Inside the box you have some stickers, which is the most important thing, but you also have the cylinder four cooling head mod itself. So what the hell does this do? This basically is adding a passageway for coolant to now flow around cylinder four, which is back there. The coolant basically just passes around cylinder four and then just sits there. So it's basically just a jacuzzi and it just sits there and bakes. This is tying in the cylinder four passageway into the return line of the heater core box that is inside the cap of the vehicle, which is gonna be this hose right here. All it's doing is a very simple task of adding a passageway. Now, if you look up cylinder four cooling head mod, there's a couple variants to it. The biggest pro that I see to this kit that the other ones don't have is the fact that it's a two piece kind of setup. So this is what's going into the head itself versus the other ones, uh, it's directly like hard fastened to the hose. So you have to twist this whole whole thing. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Make sure you drain the coolant before you do anything. You can do it the night before or whatever, just so that way you get all the drips out. You can also just pull the lower radiator hose and that's just gonna make a big mess, but it's gonna drain everything out. So once all that's done, we can go pull that plug out. So if you guys notice, I'm missing some stuff, but that stuff does not matter for this install. So from coming from the top side, you're going down here. Now, if you see that plug right there, that's what we're going after. That's what we're going to be removing with a 12 millimeter hex socket. Once you have the plug out, then you're going to want to grab this guy. This is what's going to go in the back of the head and connect up to the rest of the cooling head mod. So we can install this now. Then you're gonna take a ratchet and a one inch socket and then snug it on up. Make sure you tighten it up until the crush washer. After you have the bung in the back of the head, then you can grab the actual cooling head mod itself and we're gonna install that. So what I personally did was I fished this down, connected it up and then that way you can see where the T will fall. The one running parallel to the firewall is the one that we're going after. That connects up to this bottom black hose is the hose that we're gonna be cutting. As you can see, it kind of falls right in place with this hose back here. So now we're just gonna make a cut right in the middle, shove this on, and put our hose clamps on. Once you cut it, then we're just gonna slide this on. You're gonna take your two hose clamps, slide one on each end of the hose, and then my trick is always a little bit of WD-40 on any time you're trying to put a hose connection on, anything like that. A little WD goes a long way. Then you just slide each end on. Then we're going to tighten up our hose clamps. Then simply take an 18 mil wrench and you're gonna snug that fitting up. And that's it. Those are both A and fitting, so those are self-sealing. You don't need to put any sealant on those or anything like that. They just seal up against themselves inside. They're kinda cool. Now all you guys have to do is just basically refill your coolant, make sure you have no leaks, and you guys are good to go. All in all, this modification only takes about 15 to 20 minutes if you have the right tools. Uh, 12 mil stubby, uh, 18 mil wrench to tighten everything up, and a razor blade to cut the hose. But again, I wanna thank Import Image Racing for getting this out in two days, and the quick shipping, the quick uh, process, everything. Josh is an awesome person to deal with. So if you guys are interested in picking up the same VEMS tuning kit, uh, I'll put a link in the description to bring you right to Import Image Racing. Quick, easy mod, basically, basically this uh, helps prevent knock and ring line failure. Super Subaru has a very crude uh, knock detention system that basically puts cylinder four uh, in a hell hole and has this knock sensor on that. So as long as cylinder four is okay, then the rest of the cylinders are probably okay. It's a really crude and shitty way of doing it. However, that's how Super decided to do it. So this kind of just gives cylinder four a fighting chance. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, make sure to subscribe, check out the uh, other videos on my channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.